In a world of teenage rebellion and ill-fated decisions, a young driver's desperate bid for freedom spirals into a nightmare of violence and terror. Ignoring his mother's warnings, he embarks on a treacherous journey that leads him to the very edge of survival. A chilling lesson in the consequences of defiance, this harrowing tale exposes the thin line between youthful rebellion and the darkness that awaits when the night takes an unexpected turn. I was 16, a typical self-absorbed teenager who had just obtained my driver's license. It was a Friday night, and I was relentlessly pestering my mom to let me take the car to meet my friends. She was unwavering in her refusal, convinced I'd end up drinking and driving. I vehemently denied any such intentions, resorting to angry words and a declaration that I despised her. Eventually, I stormed off to my room with a secret plan to sneak out later and take the car. My mom, oblivious in her sleep, couldn't hear my devious intentions as my father was away on business. Under the veil of darkness, I slipped out of my window onto the front lawn. Earlier, I had stealthily pocketed the car keys, and now, with the silence of the night as my accomplice, I embarked on my clandestine adventure. My mom, ever the cautious one, had forced me to install Life360 on my phone. Determined to remain undetected, I switched off the tracking app, avoiding her watchful gaze. She was notorious for calling the police to search for me if I deviated from my curfew. I texted my friends to determine their whereabouts, only to discover they had impulsively driven to LA over an hour away from my location. Yet, stubbornly, I decided to chase the thrill and join them. Hours on the freeway, stuck in traffic, led me to explore obscure side streets, futilely hoping to shorten my journey. It was a quintessential Southern California nightmare, endless traffic, no respite. As minutes melted into hours, I grew increasingly lost and disoriented. Fear gnawed at me, an emotion I couldn't admit. I navigated dark alleys and ventured into sketchy neighborhoods, oblivious to my personal safety. At last, I turned onto a desolate road, only to be confronted by an ominous obstacle, a truck, strategically blocking my path. In terror, I attempted to reverse, but a man emerged, brandishing a menacing firearm and pounding on my window. Panic and sweat drenched me as I complied with his commands. He forced me out of the car and onto the unforgiving asphalt, where another assailant unleashed a savage barrage of kicks that left me gasping for breath. Screams for mercy and help echoed futilely while onlookers reveled in my torment. Helplessness consumed me, and all I longed for was the impossible, a rescue by my absent father. Lying prone on the ground, I raised my arms in defense, unknowingly inviting the brute to stomp on my face, further exacerbating my agony. The relentless assault persisted, time blurring into a nightmarish continuum. Unbeknownst to me, adrenaline shielded me from the full extent of the pain. The attackers, documenting their depravity with glee, confiscated my belongings and fled in my stolen car. Amidst the pain and despair, I wished for my mom, a fervent desire to have her by my side, assuring me that everything would be all right. But I lay there, bleeding, injured, and regretful, haunted by the final words I had hurled at her, words that conveyed hatred I never truly felt. The agony intensified, particularly my shattered jaw, and tears mingled with the blood that stained the asphalt. Struggling to rise, I was thwarted by the excruciating pain, yearning for a glimpse of my parents, a glimmer of hope that seemed distant and unattainable. Awareness faded, giving way to intermittent flashes of blinding light. My attackers left, their vicious task complete, leaving me to my bleak fate. Ultimately, darkness enveloped me, and I slipped into unconsciousness. I awoke in a sterile hospital room, my jaw wired shut, a victim of a brutal assault. Beside my bed, my mom wept as I shared the horrific ordeal with the police. They speculated that it was possibly a gang initiation, a sinister twist of fate that had spared my life. 
The doctors confirmed the brutal nature of my injuries, a fractured jaw, multiple broken ribs, and internal bleeding from relentless blows to my torso. My face bore the scars of the assault, each fracture a testament to the cruelty I had endured. Strangest of all, my Achilles tendons had been inexplicably severed, a mystery that left everyone baffled. Months of hospitalization followed, during which I faced the grim prospect of more surgeries and arduous physical therapy. My escapade was a catastrophic lesson, a stark reminder that parental wisdom should never be taken lightly. This is not a tale meant to deter you from youthful rebellion, but rather to emphasize that, sometimes, our parents' concerns stem from genuine love and experience. Their guidance is a beacon of wisdom in a world where danger lurks, ready to pounce when we least expect it.